Welcome to Furan University Self Learning Courses. This is Sherry again. If some of you have remembered, in the last two months, we have had the pleasure of interviewing with Caleb, an aspiring actor who was living in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and、uh, was wanting to expand his career into a more serious、uh, filmmaking as an actor. Because the series of、uh, filming that we're doing are more focused around interviews with professionals in Canada, and so I wanted to touch upon a little bit on some of the very basic steps that we will be preparing, especially if we're not、uh, pursuing a career in the arts. And so, resume obviously is the very first thing that most of us would be doing, and perhaps some of you have already been preparing for. Given that there are many things that we could be talking about when it comes to resume, what I want to focus on today would be two specific examples of、uh, building online resume. So let's take a look at those. So here is an example of an online resume, which some of you may have already heard. It's called LinkedIn.com. This is a website where you can register it for free and can、uh, access most of the features for free. And、uh, it essentially is、um, allowing you to build an online resume, but with a template. And so it's very handy, and、um, it works. You know, it's it is a social media platform, although it is、uh, specific for professional connections. I've noticed in Taiwan a lot of the time Facebook is the preferred medium for connecting professionally and personally. But in Canada and the United States, at least from my experiences, the majority of the time、uh, they do separate the profiles. And so, when I am、uh, attempting to make professional connections, I would only try to、uh, do it through the LinkedIn. And、uh, because I already have a profile here, I wanted to show you some examples quickly, sort of to compare the differences and similarities between a LinkedIn and、uh, the traditional resume. So, in traditional resume, you would certainly not see picture posted.、Uh, perhaps that's not the case in Taiwan, but in、uh, Canada and the U S, we don't、uh, show our pictures or our birthdays, for example. But in Something like LinkedIn, a picture does、um, attract more visibility, and so because you are trying to market yourself that way, and so it it is helpful to put up a picture that's you know for professionals. So you would be、uh, taking pictures as if you would be going into interview, for example. And so here, I also wanted to show if you can see up here, it's there's not just the picture, but also the the name. The first indicates that we're on the the first level of connection, but if say there's someone that I'm interested to connect, but we're not connected yet, that person could be second or even third connection. So that's what the number is there for. And then we see also the title. Now we notice that there's actually four titles、uh, for Jonathan here. That's because you will will see briefly in his profile, but、um, that's actually all that he does. And again, this seems to be a trend as well. That you know,、uh, if you're able to share that this is these are the services you provide, or that you have done these things in the past, or are interested in doing things in in these field,、uh, this would. Let the potential clients or employers know、uh, right away that you are available or interested for these type of collaborations or work opportunities. Now, on the right hand side, there it you see the first you know where it says Saint Mary's、uh, University College. That's actually the place where he works at. The second one, Simon Fraser University, lists his. Educational background, or where he has graduated, and then、uh, we can definitely click to see his contact info if we want to, or we can just scroll down. And then, in here, also shares、uh, how many connections he has made, and here indicates it's two hundred ninety-five, which is pretty high. And so here also is a brief、uh, short paragraph of what he writes about the services he provides, and so again gives a. Very clear overview of the services to、uh, appeal to potential employers. Now, if we scroll down, now in between, sometimes you know because I am connected with him, and so once in a while it pops up on how on different questions. But usually, I would ignore that section, and then let's go straight to his work experiences. So, as you scroll down, this is similar to the traditional resume where you know you list your work work experiences from the most recent to 
to um, the ones you've done before. But uh, what is really useful is if we can see this other profile here, I just wanted to compare is that for this particular person, this was from uh, my former coworker. And so in, in her profile, where she works at now, here you see some of the pictures. And this is the great part about using something like LinkedIn because you are able to include some visuals under the uh, work title, where, whereas, you know, in traditional resume, you're not able to do that. So this is a very nice feature. You can uh, include a link of your work or uh, perhaps a video posting, maybe a PDF, but um, you just have to be aware of the size limit for the things that you're uploading. So after work experiences comes the uh, educational experiences. Again, I think you know the online presence makes it a good visual presentation and lay out the degrees. Now here, he um, also has the volunteer experiences. And if you remember one of the title, he says arts community organizer, it is likely that that might be part of the volunteering experiences that he has done and that he's interested. And also here, there's something about um, the Jack jazz orchestra. So again, that speaks to uh, the, the saxophonist uh, that he has labeled up there. Here comes two sections of uh, what I really enjoy on using uh, LinkedIn.com versus uh, the traditional resume. Um, here is the section called Skills and Endorsement. And as you can see, this is, um, again, another different profile from my former classmate. So uh, there are people um, that has endorsed her for program evaluation, and the second item is public health, the third one's global health. And next to it, the number shows the number of people that have endorsed her. Now, if you look at uh, the right-hand side on number two, for example, public health, there's 17 people. It actually shows you that of the 17 people, there's two of uh, this person's uh, former co-workers or current co-workers at a particular organization that she's worked at. So then this actually gives you a very quick visual of who are the people giving such endorsements, um, something that the traditional resume are not able to showcase. Same thing for the third item, global health. And again, on the right hand side, it says endorsed by four of this person's colleagues at the University of Arizona. So then again, it showcases the credibility that she has the skill. The, uh, the last portion that I also really enjoy from uh, the LinkedIn is the the parts where you can actually showcase the recommendations you have right then and there. And so there's, there are two portions where the ones you have received, where people have written their uh, recommendations for you, and it's actually showcased directly. Plus, it also tells you if, whether they've worked together or was one a supervisor, the other a client, etc. And then it also shows the ones you have given. And so if you have given to others, it also is listed here. Now, here's a second example of how to uh, build an online resume or make your presence more visibly online for future uh, potential employers or clients. This one I have found from the website and I wanted to showcase this one as an example because it, this professional, she's a designer. And so I think uh, when it comes to designers, or anything that you do that needs a better uh, visual appeal, uh, some of you might consider building a website. Uh, there are some websites that you do not have to build a website from scratch. Um, what you can do is tap into some of the templates, you know, and you can still create an online presence, which is different than the LinkedIn because LinkedIn, you go by their profile. And of course, you can also upload you know your work up there but uh, there are some limitations unless perhaps you pay for the membership fee and then um, upgrading your services with LinkedIn and that, that might be different but um, if you are really serious or if what you study and what you aim to do needs really a visually appealing presence online then perhaps building a website wouldn't be such a bad idea and so here you can say this is, um, you know, I clicked on her name and then here goes um, a little bit of introduction. So this is her online resume, right? But because she's a designer, then the whole press looks differently. But if you scroll down, there's a picture of her. So now she mentioned that she's a designer. So what we can do is we go to, uh, 
where it says projects, and then we can see the visual presentation. And this is where um, that would really showcase. Now we can see these are some of the examples of the work that she has designed, and so she has showcased this here. In here, this is something where you know a traditional resume would certainly not be able to do. In a more traditional sense, the portfolio um, would usually be print out, but in here, uh, she can just upload to the work she has done before, and so um, kind of showcase, and people can click um, just to see a sample of the work she has done. And so with this, I just wanted to show these two uh, potential examples to enhance your online presence uh, when it comes to building your resume, or at least practicing to build that, um, you know, especially uh, being students in this day and age. And uh, hopefully these were uh, useful tips for you, and uh, I will look forward to seeing you next time for more explorations and uh, other interviews with professionals in Canada. Take care. Bye-bye.